is just getting a master class and backing up today. Are you enjoying that? No. <laughs> but whenever I pull up to Joe, it's the end of the day that things go topsy-turvy. All right, we got the laser all set up. Um, I watch a YouTube video, so of course I know how to do this. It's all you need in life anymore. <laughs> Father's Day, and we're back out here today because it's my day, and we're not done. It is totally underwhelming yeah, I'm sure. in the video, but that's... It's steep in real life. Yeah, it's <laughs> at least three feet of dirt. Uh, yeah. Okay, it is Thursday, late afternoon. Had a bunch of random other things I had to do this morning. So just getting started, it's four o'clock and I am the sole operator. So I'm gonna be digging the hole, hauling the dirt, spreading the dirt, rolling the dirt. Um, I'm gonna run all the machines today. Um, so we're gonna try to get in the last few hours of the day as many, as many loads of clay as I can get up there. I don't know how many I'll get. No idea, but this is what we're doing. And uh, hopefully tomorrow, well tomorrow, Liz took the day off from work, so it'll be both of us all day. And we should be able to really haul a lot of dirt tomorrow. And then same thing on Saturday. Uh, Sunday's Father's Day, so we probably won't be doing anything that day. But let's see how much we can get done in the next two and a quarter days. Okay, I've jumped over to being truck driver now and dump operator. Just got to get the controls. Helps if you open the tailgate. Alright, I gotta pull forward and then it should all slide out and then I gotta fix my boo boo. Okay, I kind of sort of knocked the side off here. I got to try to put it back on. better boo boo fixed can't leave the GoPro out in that Carolina Sun because it's hot it overheats and it turns off all right I think I only got five loads done in two hours but I cleared a whole nother section down there of overburden there's like a foot and a half of topsoil over the top of the clay right there so I got a big area, as at least as big, if not bigger than the part I already dug out, all ready to go. That way we hit the ground running tomorrow. 
but we probably I don't know how many loads we got a lot of loads left to do because there's it's it's a lot so I'm gonna call it quits for today I'm pretty tired and hungry I'll see you tomorrow okay good morning so like Joe just said we're gonna be a team today just the two of us working on moving dirt over to the barn pad so I'll be driving the dump trailer and then dropping everything off at the barn site and then after about like 10 loads or so maybe even less we'll see I'll bring Joe with me and he's going to work on smoothing it out with the skid steer <laughs> like I'm always saying I you know I didn't grow up doing any of this kind of stuff this is all new to me pretty much like new experiences every day and something I'll be working on my skills today with is backing up the trailer oh my gosh <laughs> I'm not great at it <clears throat> I've never you know driven like with trailers I've backed up our big yellow trailer our like equipment trailer and I don't know if that one's just more forgiving because it's so big but I have really haven't had problems backing that one up but this little one oh my gosh <laughs> I'll try to start out straight and just back up straight but one small movement and then it just you know goes to either side and I'm trying to you know turn the wheel anyway <laughs> I'm learning I'm not used to backing up trailers <laughs> so that's been you know frustrating but I gotta learn somehow, I guess. <laughs> so that's what we'll be doing today. Okay, about to drop off the first load of the day. You told me to put it in the center or the middle of the pad, so this is looking like the middle. You have a stake there, just so you can see where the pad is. There's a stake in that corner, in that corner, and then behind the truck over there. So I feel like this is the middle, so let's dump this. It is very clay-y, so like, I, like you've seen the last video, it was a little bit of a struggle to get it to fall out the first time, so let's see. We have this hooked up. see it just kind of lingers there so I'm gonna move the truck forward we'll see if that helps All right, you can see there's still a bunch in there and that's after moving forward and backward and really kind of trying to jostle it sometimes it's really hard to get out so I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing all right did one load I ended up having to just like get in the, the trailer because there was a huge chunk that was preventing everything from falling out, so I just got up in there. All right, we're headed back to go get the next load. It's a beautiful day, it's really sunny. It's very hot though, I think today's supposed to be 91 here in North Carolina, but otherwise it's very beautiful. Blue skies, everything's very green. All a beautiful day. Liz is getting a master class and backing up today. Are you enjoying that? No. <laughs> Maybe by the end of the day, she'll be the best backer upper that ever existed. Best backer upper. Yeah. We're gonna go grab some lunch because we're hungry and it's hot. All right, we are back from lunch and. We only got five loads done before lunch, but I'm going to go ahead and spread them out. And then I'm going to put on the roller attachment, the vibratory roller attachment. We haven't used this one yet, but got it to do this. And then at some point, whenever we rebuild the pond dam to, to do that as well. So we'll see how that works out. Um, fair amount of dirt here. We got a lot to go, though. All right. I have the vibratory roller attachment hooked up never used this before so I don't exactly know how it works but we're gonna try it out can't be that hard and we're gonna roll out that dirt I spread it out now we're gonna roll it in get it good and packed so it's pretty much like concrete for that building pad
think that was a success. Not exactly even, but we'll work on that. It's, um, feels like hard as concrete out here, which is good. That's what we're going for. Yeah, a little bumpy, but it'll get easier to smooth it out as we go. All right, we are back from lunch. So just had Joe drop off a load of dirt into the trailer. And now just heading on back up the hill. Funny, the first time we were doing this, the truck was really struggling to get up the hill. Even in four wheel drive, I had to kind of back up and try going a different way. But I think it just might have been a little wet that time, I'm not sure, but now it goes up the hill just fine. See. Still a beautiful day, still very hot. But we're still going at it. I am lucky I'm in the air-conditioned truck, <laughs> which is much appreciated. <laughs> I get very hot these days being being very pregnant, so this is not too bad. Get a good visual of the dirt. might be biased <laughs> because I love him <laughs> but I think he's doing a great job he's been really like finessing the excavator he'll he's just as you can see he's just swinging around and he sometimes will swing the other way and he totally avoids the dirt pile he avoids the truck <clears throat> I think he's doing a great job I know sometimes he's hard on himself <laughs> about how he's doing with the equipment but I think he's doing great <laughs> all right well, it has been a little bit now. We ended up having to go into town to get some hydraulic fluid for the excavator. And so now Joe is currently pumping it, making a, mess. <laughs> making a mess and pumping it into the excavator. The, apparently this, like the normal place you would put the hydraulic fluid is very tightly shut, like He-Man tightened it so Joe's pumping it in to a different compartment yeah, at least I don't know it's like uh, it's like they put it on with an impact wrench or something don't do that to people <laughs> that's mean it really just needs to be like hand tight at least tractor supply had a pump don't have to pour it in somehow. Out of a five gallon pail, yeah, that would be hard. Yeah. So that's what we're doing now. And I'm sure it'll work, but we'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> All right, this is the little indicator with how much hydraulic fluid is in there. So we stopped at, oof, it's a little less than half but it's taking a long time, so that's gonna have to do for the rest of today. <laughs> how do you feel about how that went? Um, it would have taken about 10 times less time if He-Man hadn't put this on. <laughs> yeah. Must've been those service guys. Oh, right. Because they topped off the hydraulic fluid when they fixed the track. Okay. And they, either they're just I mean, I'm weak, but either no. they're just He-Man trying to prove a point or they use an impact because that thing won't budge. They must have. So, should be good to go. We'll get back to moving dirt. All right, so 
I dropped off about, I think seven or eight loads. And that's about when Joe go ahead, goes ahead and smooths out the dirt. So right now, he's in the skid steer. He is using the bucket attachment right now to smooth out the dirt initially so it's not in those big piles. And then he'll move to the laboratory ruler attachment and that will even more just compact the, the clay into the ground and smooth it out. So this is what he is doing. I know we're gonna need many more, you know, dump truck full, dump trucks full of dirt, of clay. But I feel like even with what we have been starting with, has made a big difference. Um, I know, I think Joe estimated like a couple feet difference in height between one of the uh, opposite corners of the barn pad, but I feel like it's already making a big difference. So, still have a long way to go, of course, <laughs> but it's good to see the progress. And you can see there, you know, he came from the far corner over there. And because most of the elevation change is in this back corner, this kind of this whole tree line and just this back corner, it looks like he's moving the dirt from kind of the center here, pushing it out there. So. Joe just finished on his pass using the bucket, so now is using the vibratory roller, which again just helps compact the clay even more, smooth it out. Right. Even with the bucket though, you can see it's, you know, he really did a good job flattening it out. He was telling me earlier that apparently to operate the vibratory roller, he has to have like one thumb on one of the joysticks, you know, pushing on this button so that it stays on, while also with his other hand, pressing another button to make the attachment float. So it's a little more difficult than it looks, <laughs> but he said it's, you can wear your thumbs out pretty quick. No, I don't know why this is an end of day thing, but whenever I pull up, to Joe. It's the end of the day that things go topsy-turvy. Let's see what's going on. Good morning. So this morning we're getting back to it with moving dirt. So first order of business is to fix the bucket. Well, the bucket pin. Yeah. Well, I gotta beat on it with a hammer. Yeah. Oh, that oh, was easy. That was nice. <laughs> not how things normally go. Nope. Not around here. Not around here. <laughs> now I just gotta find a pin that'll fit. Hopefully one of these will. I like your Father's Day appropriate shirt. Yeah. I mean, Father's Day's tomorrow, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's my weekend. Yes. You know what? It didn't quite fit, but it's gonna hold in place. So. All right. I guess that's what's most important. We're gonna call that a win. Okay. We need wins this morning. Yes. <laughs> so we're ready to go. Yep. Ready All to right. go. Let's do it. That's gonna stay in there for now. <laughs> All right. We have had definitely a better start this morning. The only issue that came up was the battery on the trailer was dying so it wasn't really lifting the loads as easily so just swapped that out there was already a tractor battery in the bed of the truck so that was convenient <laughs> um, so we just switched in that new battery it's luckily charged so now the trailer is working just fine so i think we did about 10 loads and now joe is in the skid steer smoothing out the dirt for the first time today 
We got a little bit of an earlier start this morning, which feels good. We're hoping we can like double the amount we did yesterday. So hopefully that is still the case. <laughs> uh, we just had the one problem. We do have to go into town during lunch today. So we'll see, but hoping to make a lot more progress today. All right, we got the laser all set up. Um, I watch a YouTube video, so of course I know how to do this. It's all you need in life anymore. <laughs> but thankfully, they've taken a lot of the intelligence out of it. Um, it's really simple. It self-levels. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but there's a thing rotating, spinning. <laughs> yep, so it self-levels and it's shining a laser all the way across the whole site here, all, all the way around. So if we went up there, we could shoot grade two. Mm -hmm. And then this is the grade stick and it has all these increments on it. This is in inches. Some of them are in tenths, but this one's in inches. So that's easier for me because I'm an American. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna figure out this corner is the high corner and we're gonna come up a foot over here. But for now, we're just gonna see how low we are all the way around yep. and I'm pretty sure we got this set we're just under four feet now there we go and that solid tone which is really <laughs> annoying means that you're right on and on the back <laughs> <laughs> On the back here, there's another screen, and so you can read it from behind. It, it shows you either you need to bring this up or you need to bring it down to figure out, you know, if you're high or low. Okay, so let's uh, go to the far corner because that's where we're going to need the most dirt, and yeah. let's figure out how low we are. Yeah. Which it feels like, it feels like we've already dumped so much, and it feels like it's come up so much, but still seems like a ways to go <laughs> yeah i mean we've come up probably almost two feet yeah yeah probably close to two feet 18 inches two feet something like that and we did some calculating at lunch <laughs> and based on the size of the hole that we've dug yeah. we've moved about 165 yards of dirt so that's all right that's, yeah we're doing all right Okay, so I'm not gonna, you know what, I will. Let's, let's do this the actual super fancy way and we'll run this up. I was just gonna lift it up right. until we got there, but let's actually run this up the, the grade rod and we'll see when it beeps. And then you can tell me. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Uh, oh, we're getting there. It's like at six five, six six ish. Oh. Oh, we gotta come down a little bit. Of course, right where the thing is. Right here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, like six, five and a half. Six, five and a half. Yep. So that means we need a little over two feet of dirt. Wow. And that's without bringing that up. Right. At all. So if we bring that end up mm -hmm. a foot, we need three feet of dirt over here. Whew. And we've come up. We've come up a decent amount. Like you can see from this angle. Yeah. Maybe it's... two feet. Yeah. So we're not even halfway there. No. <laughs> and it's Saturday at lunchtime. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> wow. And tomorrow's Father's Day. Tomorrow's Father's But it's my day. That's right. So <laughs> we can do what I want to do on my day. That's which is probably moving dirt. Probably moving dirt. Yep. Yeah. Not all day. I won't torture everyone with that all day. But, <laughs> you know, I mean, we are running out of time. I know. His belly's getting big. The old baby here. Um getting ready not much time left all yeah. right let's measure let's measure over here yep so 
What do we need? Three feet back there. Yep. Three feet pretty much two thirds of the way across. Yeah. And then there's only like half. Well, it'll be a foot and a half. Foot and a half yeah. there, a foot there, and then two feet here. Yep. Okay, we got a lot of dirt to move. We do. So <laughs> we might as well get back at it. Yep. <laughs> this was good to see though. Yeah. See where we're at. Yep, and it um, definitely gives us a good progress report. Yeah. And <laughs> and breaks up the monotony a little bit. It does. It's a very mundane job. <laughs> Dig, drive, dump, spread. Dodge, roll. duck, dodge. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You can dodge a wrench, you can, you can dodge, dodge a ball. ball. <laughs> All right, we'll show some more footage of how this is going. <laughs> All right, okay, it's Father's Day and we're back out here today because it's my day and we're not done. And that's what I wanted to do for my day. We're not gonna spend the whole day out here digging dirt, but you can see Liz going up the hill there behind me. We've been going at it for about an hour now and the hole just keeps getting bigger and bigger. This is what we're looking like now, so. Hard to tell from the camera, but that is a very large hole and we moved a lot of dirt. But we're only like halfway done with the pad, so we have, we have a lot more to do. We're gonna keep going. We're just gonna do a couple hours today and then do something more enjoyable than moving dirt although I like it but maybe for everybody this isn't the best thing to do on a Sunday on Father's Day we're gonna go for another hour and then spread that out and see where we're at but again I think we're about halfway done all right well it is the next day and it is actually Father's Day so happy Father's Day to all the dads out there and here on the farm what better way to spend the day than have Joe do one of his favorite activities, which is to use machinery. <laughs> so this is our last load of dirt for today. We ended up doing about 11, I believe, in about two hours-ish. Had a couple delays, but it's been going well. And so he's just smoothing out the dirt and then he's gonna move on to the vibratory roller to really pack it in and finish smoothing it out for the day. And don't worry, the second half of the day, we will be relaxing and having a nice Father's Day. <laughs> but I'll go ahead, I'll show you the progress at the very end once he's finished with um, all of the dirt. Okay, we are wrapping up for today. Father's Day, we're gonna go do something else besides just moving dirt, even though it is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> yeah. um, so I thought maybe it's everything's really hard to see on the camera so i'll try flipping the camera around and then liz is going to stand next to the back of the pile here and maybe we can see what we've done okay it is totally underwhelming yeah, I'm sure. in the video but that's it's steep in real life yeah it's <laughs> at least three feet of dirt uh, yeah for sure over here it's probably more yeah yeah. So, again, on the camera, it's... It's hard to tell. Yeah. It kind of makes it look like we didn't do a lot, but... <laughs> We've been doing a lot. A lot. <laughs> so, we moved 11... 11. 11 yeah. loads of dirt. And we probably have 50, 60, 70 more to go. Something like that. While being very close to the baby arriving? Yes. <laughs> yep. So time is of the essence. Next weekend we'll be moving dirt. That's all we'll be doing. Yeah. I think that does it for I this video so. of dirt moving. Yep. Yeah, we made a lot of progress. It's just hard to see. <laughs> yep. So life's an adventure. Let's keep it that way. <laughs>